Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the ugly truths associated with alopecia, balding, hair loss, as well as some of the ugly truths associated with hair growth. So let's get started. So the first ugly truth is that we are often told that there is no cure for alopecia. The truth is that when doctors are telling us that there is no cure for alopecia, what they're telling us is that there's no hope. That's how we internalize what they're saying. And when we feel like there's no hope that our hair is going to grow back, we give up on our hair journey before it even begins. We don't try to look for answers or solutions or treatments or why our hair fell out in the first place. We literally give up. However, the truth is that there is hope and myself and other people have been able to grow their hair back from alopecia and other hair loss conditions. I speak to people in phone consultations on a regular basis. I answer emails and there have been success stories. So please do not give up. Please do not feel like there is no hope that your hair can grow back because there is hope as a living, breathing testimony that hair does grow back from alopecia areata. I've been growing my hair for three years and it's still flourishing. So please take hope in the fact that that is an ugly truth, but there is a truth and the truth is that there is hope. So this brings me to point number two, as I stated that myself and other people have been able to cure their hair, however, one cure does not fit all. This is an ugly truth because we believe that looking in on what cured somebody else is actually going to help us and cure us, but the real truth of the matter is that what cured them might not work for you. In a matter of fact, uh, an example is that I do use all natural products that I made myself, my alopecia free products, and my hair has grown back. However, what helped me is not necessarily something that is going to help you. It's an ugly truth because we want to believe that if it helped one person it's going to help us but the truth of the matter is that everybody's situation is different. In a matter of fact even the time frame that it takes is different so I grew my hair back it within six months to a year. I know other people who've had results in a month. I've known people who have results in a week. For you it might take a year, two years, three years but the fact is that it's so different for all of us and something that helped me might not help you and something that helped you might not help me. However, with that being said, if something did work for somebody and it was a natural solution and something that you feel comfortable using, feel free to try it out. But keep in mind that the truth is that even though it worked for somebody else, it might not work for you. But because it's a natural solution, because it's something that is not going to harm your body in any way, feel free to give it a try. But really keep in mind that it might not work for you. But also keep in mind that it might work for you and you won't really know unless you try it out. I'm an advocate for trying things out to see if it works for you. If I never tried out my products on myself, I would have never known that they could have worked for me and that my hair would have grown back. So be encouraged that you can try what has worked for other people on yourself if it's healthy and natural. However, just keep in mind that it isn't necessarily your cure or something that's going to work for you. So when you go to the doctor, they usually tell you that alopecia is a autoimmune disorder. It's a condition that doesn't have any cure. So the ugly truth that people tell us is that it's one condition and we assume that because it's one condition, we can try and heal that one condition, which is an autoimmune issue. But they fail to tell us that our autoimmune issue could be due to so many other factors. So in my situation, I was dealing with other health issues and I was dealing with a lot of stress. Um, at the time and you know my hair fell out however after I started using my products as we know my hair started growing back but in the meantime as my hair is growing back I was still figuring out ways to heal my body heal my mind and my emotions and to heal the physical things that were going on and over time now three years later looking back I'm completely healed so not only is my hair flourishing or growing back but it's not falling back out because I've healed myself so for any reason if you are struggling with just figuring out where to start and even though you know that there are things that happened in your past but you can't really just map it out and you really just need help please book a phone consultation with me I speak to people on a regular basis uh, with that being said there are limited amount of uh, spaces I can't talk to everybody all at once so just make sure you book your spot but I do help people to get to the bottom of what might have caused their hair loss and then I try and figure out solutions and personal regimens that can help them to move forward in their hair growth process so keep that in mind if you really need somebody to talk to and you really need help feel free to give me a call I would love to talk to you and really help to sort out whatever's going on with you now ugly truth number four is that if you do find a solution that seems to be working for you keep in mind that it might not be a lasting solution this is a very ugly truth because doctors and pharmaceutical companies will tell you if your hair starts growing back, you're cured, that's great. But the truth of the matter is that that is not the case. And like I stated before in point number three is that if you find something that's working for you, keep using it, 
but in the meantime, continue to work on your body, continue to work on the reasons why your hair really and truly fell out. So I believe that there are topical solutions, like I stated before, where you can put something on your skin. Let's say you have eczema and you put some cream on your skin. I believe that naturally your skin will heal, but over time, if you continue to do things that cause the eczema in the first place, whether you're eating things you're allergic to, maybe spraying on that perfume, that eczema and that rash is gonna come back, it's gonna flare back up, and once again, you're gonna have to deal with the issue. So I do believe that if you are using a natural solution or a natural treatment to your hair loss issues, you can apply that onto your scalp and your hair may grow back, and that's that's great. In a matter of fact, that's what happened to me. But over time, like I told you, I continued to work on my diet, I continued to work on things that were bothering me mentally, and I continued to work on building myself up physically mentally emotionally to the point that when my hair fully did grow back in it hasn't fallen back out because I've cured the whole body you really have to get to the understanding that just because you're seeing signs of growth it doesn't mean it's lasting and a matter of fact I've spoken to people in my phone consultation saying that their hair grew back and then fell out and it's because you have to deal with the real issue and the real issue is something that you will have to pinpoint and try and work out the truth is that there are lasting cures the truth is that you can be free from alopecia for good but you have to keep in mind that we have to figure out exactly what was going on and, and heal that and fix that in order to make the cure that you do find that's working or the treatment that is working to make it a lasting treatment. Now, ugly truth number five is that when you do get your hair grown back and your hair is flourishing, there is an ugly truth that you are not aware of and I wasn't aware of it and that is that when you have hair growth, you also have this irrational anxiety fear, paranoia that your hair is going to fall out again. And it's something that nobody talks about because we really just want the hair to grow back. And when my hair was growing back at first, I was excited, I was ecstatic. But as it got longer and over time, I started to become really fearful and very paranoid that my hair is going to fall out. So guys, an example of this is let's say I am doing my hair and after maybe, you know, a few weeks of doing my hair, I, I start brushing it or combing it and I notice that there's a few more extra hairs coming out than normal or then I noticed last month I start to freak out and get really paranoid I get really anxious my heart starts beating I start to feel a little you know queasy I'm thinking my hair's gonna fall out and I have alopecia again but the truth of the matter is that depending on what happened that month you might shed a few more hairs than normal but the real truth is that people who've never had to deal with alopecia or hair loss lose hair for the exact same reason so if they're stressed out or if they're not eating properly they will experience more shedding than usual but it doesn't lead to baldness and it doesn't lead to alopecia that is the truth the truth is that if your hair is growing and flourishing and you're healthy your hair will continue to grow and flourish and be healthy with you so amongst all these ugly truths that i've listed there is one beautiful truth and that beautiful truth is that there is hope there is hope that your hair can grow there is hope that your hair can flourish there is hope that you can be alopecia free and guys if you have any questions or concerns or anything you want to share please leave it in the comments below you know i read it also if you have not liked my facebook page go like my facebook page stay connected with me on there throughout 2016 and guys thank you so much for watching another one of my videos don't be a stranger let's stay connected and i will see you soon bye guys